helped by Elsa, where 100 women became the first beneficiaries of the widow care program put together by the wife of the state governor, Gloria Diri, through her foundation. Joseph Kunde has details and will return with business news thereafter. Prioritizing the provision of support for the elderly, orphans and skills acquisition for the most vulnerable in society has been the goal of the Gloria Diri Foundation since 2019. This time around, the convener of the foundation and wife of Bayelsa Governor, Gloria Diri, flags off the first phase of the Widow's Care Project. While Lord in the initiative of the foundation, the Deputy Governor, Lawrence Arujapo, urged the beneficiaries to make good use of the provisions made available to them. The plight of the matrimonial deprived is not limited to just the issues of bread and butter. Their deprivation goes beyond bread and butter. And so we must look at what are their needs holistically. And so I want to encourage us that the idea of giving is not in the plentitude of what we have. Giving itself is a spiritual gift. And so whatever contributions that are coming your way from this foundation and other well-meaning Nigerians, and by instance in particular, make good use of them. For Gloria Diri, it is the period to push for the provision of widow's protection law in the state. Being a widow in this part of the world is very traumatic. To alleviate these challenges and many more, the Gloria Diri Foundation has come to the rescue of these widows. The Gloria Diri Foundation will also ensure the implementation of the Bayasa State Widows and Widowers Protection Law with best practices to address issues of maltreatment and marginalization of widows. For me, I never see a gift like this from anywhere. This gift will help me and my children. So I am so happy. And they tell her thank you for how she take the help, how she take help the widow and they support us today. I say may God bless her. The Widow's Care Program will be reviewed quarterly for it to cover the entire spread of the state. Joseph Kunde, TVC News, Yenagoa.